This is the fix on Dash Radio. Get the sugar. What's goody? Let's get it started with our next guest of the hour we have in the building, Young A. And he, and he has his peoples with him, too. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, you know yeah. what it is. Your boy, Young A. Flyest <laughs> nigga in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. You're all dripped out with the paint everywhere. I like it. It's different. Appreciate that. And it's definitely eye-catching. So tell me, you know, you, you have Flyest nigga in America. I know you have Flyest Nation in America is also right. your brand, right? Right. So go ahead and tell me more about your brand. Uh, well, it's like it's, everything is custom. So everything I make, I do is custom. So I take different pieces and I put it together. We like everything custom. We call it F. It's, it's F and I A. We call ourselves Flyest Nation in America. That's the brand name. F and I A is Flyest Niggas in America. That's the crew. I got my boy in here, Hazel Ready, with me. So it's Flyest Niggas or Flyest Nation? Flyest Nation as a brand. Okay. On as the crew, it's Flyest Niggas. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. You tell me. So I, I met him uh, BT weekend last year, and the nigga presents when he came to the pool party. <laughs> and the niggas was fly, you know what I'm saying? They came, they was all dripped out, doing their thing. Everybody noticed him. I think you had brought some paintings too, right? Yeah, yeah I had brought some custom paintings. Yeah, custom man. paintings. And then, you know, we talked about, you know, got to come on the show. Mm -hmm. Didn't forget about him, you know what I'm saying? Right, now right. he's here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad you're able to come through on the show, man, and see you doing your thing on, on um, social media. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You got your own radio show too, right? Yeah. Well, I was doing a little radio host type thing with okay. the, uh, cannabis. So yeah. I was, like going around a different shop doing all that. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So how how's the reception to the brand, the clothing brand? Like, as the people buying it and all that? Or? Uh, well, I get a lot of orders. Like people send me pieces, and okay. I do pieces like that. And it comes from like online. Okay. Doing like the little ads and all that promo yeah. and. A lot of my friends support me, like, from school and family members. Yeah. So I do a lot of people's shoes. I just did some shoes. If you was on my page, I just did some bands. I call that decor drip. Okay. You feel me? So it's yeah. like, a, you know, some wild little splash paint type yeah. stuff. And you do the modeling too, right? Yeah, I do some modeling and also styling and all that. That's what's up. So, like, I was working for a brand called uh, Franchise LA, and I was, like, doing all a styling and branding over there. So... You know, I'm just putting out pieces, man, putting it together. Got the music, got the clothing brand, got the uh, the fucking filming and all that. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta keep it moving. That's what's up, man. Yeah, mixing and all up. Okay, well, touch on the music a little bit. Oh, yeah, well, I got, uh, I just dropped Chateau in Paris. It's called what in Par Paris? Chateau in Paris. Chateau in Paris, yeah. okay. And that's my new single. It's hot. It's on, it's on uh, YouTube and iTunes, Spotify. You can check that out. We shot the video in Paris. It's like a love story, some you know, real fly type stuff. You feel me? That's what's up. You got, a, you must got a big budget to go to Paris to do videos. You know I what I'm mean, saying? Yeah, I mean, got, Most niggas go to Paris Street. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to yeah, actually yeah, go to yeah. Paris, you got, you got a budget. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you put it together, you know, and plan it out. When you plan things, you can get things done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we did. Yeah. That's what's up. So yeah. how, how do you feel? You know, when you see somebody like Nipsey Hussle building a brand, having their own store. You know what I'm saying? Does that motivate you to want to, you know, elevate it to that level, too, to have your own store? People can come in and get custom pieces, kind of like a Dapper Dan yeah, yeah. in New York. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Is, is that somebody that inspired you, too, Dapper Dan? Yeah, yeah, I like Dapper Dan. I, I always looked up to him, and I seen what he did. I was crazy. He was yeah. killing him with the, you know, custom pieces and yeah. all that. Rest in peace to Nipsey, too. We look up to him for everything he did. Mm -hmm. And then definitely, I also look, uh, plan on doing stuff like that, having a store and yeah. bringing stuff out, you know what I'm saying, putting it online. Like, yeah. I, I got it online, but, you know, getting a storefront and putting it out like that is yeah. a different level, you feel me? And I experienced it because my cousin is Casey Veggies. I don't know if y'all know. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he, he had his first storefront and all that. And, the clothing brand and did all that, so it was popping, and I yeah. got to experience that, so that was crazy, you yeah. feel me? The Dapper Dan move would be dope. For real. Uh, it would be like the next Dapper Dan, because he was putting out them pieces. He was putting out them pieces. Everybody from boxers to rappers, everybody, everybody. was pulling up on that nigga. Rolls Royces <laughs> coming everybody. out with custom everything, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Yeah, and he's still, I think he's still starting to do shit again, Yeah, he's coming back around. Yeah. He, got, he got an Instagram. You can check it out, and mm -hmm. then go look on YouTube and search him and, and, and research. Yeah, and ask your dad him. about Dapper Dan. He's crazy. I'm sure you know about him. Yeah. That's old snapping. school. He's making some custom shit from back in the day. Everybody's you know stuff you seen, like Alpo, you know about Alpo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all that Louis you seen, mm -hmm. that ain't original Louis. Nah. That's Damper Dan Louis. 
custom made. <laughs> Dapper Dan Louie. I yeah, like that. Yeah, he make, like everything is cut and sold at Dapper Dan. Yeah. So is that basically what your brand is focused on? Like uh is it focused on focused on like painting or, you know, just um freelance just yeah. thought basically? Because that's what I that's what I think of when I see what you have on. It's just it's just expression. It's just there, you know, it's just like you see what you get type of thing. So yeah. is all your clothes like that, or you are you, do you have a specific style you do with your um, with your clothes as well? Yeah, I do like you know I do like the the normal prints and stuff. I might do like the Pablo Escobar, the Griselda Blanca, or Dick Gregory, them type of little prints and stuff. But most of the stuff you see me wearing is like custom. This is like to show you like boom. This is this is what it is. Like this is one piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Will got a question. <laughs> You can wash this. This is this is a lifetime warranty I'm giving you. You g- I give it to you. You can wash it several times. Nothing happens. The paint don't come off. You can mix it with the other clothes. Nothing happens. Say if I do some shoes, you rock them, whoop, you get a scuff, bring them back, I fix them. Mm, <laughs> you yeah. feel me? Or I have somebody on the team fix them. That's what's up. <laughs> warranty included. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. Ain't going to mess up. It's going to stay there. Like, I, I got the AirPod, custom AirPod. I don't know if y'all seen that on my page. Oh, and these are the only one in, in the world. It's one other company that's doing custom AirPods. And they're using paint, too, but I'm using a different type of paint. And mine is a little more textured. Theirs are, like, smooth. And I like it, too, though. You know what I'm saying? But mine's a little thicker. And Can I see? Little, yeah. Check that shit out. Dope. So you you create the um, most of like the designs, or you have a team, like you said. Yeah, I got like a couple people that I work with. You know what I'm saying? But I do all the designs. <laughs> like I personally, mm-hmm. I do all the designs. But like I got a couple people I can do the design, and I can be like, "Hey, go fix that up for me real quick," and they do it. Okay, yeah. dope. And really quick, tell me uh, who are some of your like your favorite designers besides. Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. <laughs> I was about to say someone. Up. I was about to say something completely different. <laughs> uh, I like a lot of skateboard stuff. So like, I, you know, what I'm saying I like DC the way they, you know, what I'm saying come with certain stuff like the older stuff, or like Crooks and Castles, um, Volcom. You feel me? Of course, the Louis Gucci, all that shit. That shit is cool. But like nowadays, the flying shit is like the custom, like you know, shit that you can see and mm-hmm. nobody got. You like, yeah. oh, man, he got those. That's crazy. Yeah. Nobody got them. He wore them four or five times and, you know, put it in the closet, made me wear it four years later. That's you? <laughs> That's me. That's you? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else, too, in their heart, you know, in their mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, go ahead and tell us more about your music, where we can find you at. Oh, yeah, man. Spotify and me. your clothes. Yeah, go to uh, FlyersNationInAmerica.co and check the clothes out at Wattsboy Young A W A T T S B O Y Y U N A. The same thing for as the uh, website is the Instagram for the clothing brand. I got art pieces out there that's crazy. The Gucci, the Louis. I actually gave an art piece to um, DJ Khaled. Okay. That's sick. Shout out to JD for hooking that up. You that's what's up. So I gave him a Jordan piece. That's sick. Should be posting that real soon. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Check me out, man. Spotify, the boy Young Gay, man. Shout out to him, Paris Hot. I got the I Wanna Rock Out, Hot Remix, Jazz Anderson, Casey Veggies. You know what I'm saying? We doing our thing. We bubbling. I just did some clothes for uh, Phoebe. She coming out on Basketball Wise, so be looking for some of my gear in that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and we moving, man. We on the hustle, man. The marathon continues, like Mitchie yeah, yeah. said. <laughs> That's yeah. Always. And we on the rise. You know what I'm saying? Right? Hustle and motivate. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Thank you so much for coming through. And um, until we get into our next guest, stay well. We're going to take a small break. Listen to The Fix on Dash Talk X. Break.